This is another special trick uh, made partially possible by uh, my subscribers and their generous donations. I appreciate that. Today, uh, as you can tell by the picture, we're going to visit this 700-year-old uh, ruin up by Roosevelt Lake. Yeah, the park ranger said it was just a little over a mile up with some pretty steep grades and uh, uh, it's only a quarter mile down <laughs> or uh, about three minutes on this uh, on the express lane whatever that's supposed to mean a cactus that you see in in the uh, in the video, there used to be a lot of those around, a lot of a lot of soil all around. But uh, back in the 50s and 60s, people were taking them, stealing them, knocking them down, taking them home, and calling it desert uh, landscaping. But now it's against the law. You have to have a a special permit to get uh, a cactus out of the desert and. Uh, you don't get your choice of cactus. They tell you which ones you can have. All right, that's a mesquite tree. There's a couple of places in town, in Phoenix, where they use the uh, the wood to char uh, and cook the steaks in an open pit. Now, boy, if you've never had a steak with, with mesquite wood, <laughs> you're messing it, I'm telling you. I can't think of the names of them up on South Mountain. Rustler's Roost, I think, is the name of it. A couple of others. All right, this is one of the uh, one of the little homes or rooms, I guess you could say. We're not supposed to touch anything. <clears throat> it's not really a good shot. Excuse me for the coughing. A lot of it's roped off on this side. But you can see why they don't want us to touch anything. During the 30s, 20s and 30s, uh, here's a national monument, okay, but there wasn't much protection. As you can tell by the initials and the wood, thoughtless. Absolutely thoughtless people. So we're going to head up to the, uh, looks like maybe the main living area. I was just listening to the, uh, to the uh, forest ranger. He was saying they lost quite a bit of the roofs and ceilings within the last century. But this, I guess, was called the workroom. The women would all get together, gather around, and uh, grind their corn, other plants, and do all their cooking. <coughs> You can see by all the black smoke 
their soot, I guess, uh, on the ceilings. I've been there an hour, I guess. I was still huffing and puffing pretty good, so. Uh, it took uh, just a little bit over an hour for me to walk up there. I had little benches sitting around. You could rest for a while, and I made it, took advantage of those. <clears throat> Corn grinder stone right there. They grind that into a flour, the corn flour. Cook it on the on their open fires. Uh, I think we used to we'd call them cheese crisps now, but they probably didn't call them that then. Besides, I don't know where they'd get their cheese. This is standing inside one of the main rooms. Look at the view that they had. That log sticking out right there was used for part of the ceiling, but over the years they've they deteriorated. So uh, I think it's part of the ceiling that they're saying they lost. But now there's just empty holes with concrete in them. They're doing their best to preserve it for as long as they can. Hey, you can't, you probably can't see in there, but just another room. Hello. If I get down these stairs without too much wobble. Like I said, we're not supposed to touch anything, so. Don't lean on the walls or touch them. No smoking, of course. I think we've already seen this. Yeah. That's with all the smoke up there. So, uh, the park ranger here is going to give us a short little story <laughs> about this area. He doesn't want to be on camera, and I don't blame him. Too many people. Uh, we'll be able to see it. So go ahead, sir. Well, we're at the lower cave dwelling in the Tonto National Monument. There's another larger cave some 300 feet uh, higher elevation. This is the smaller and the lower cave. Probably some 50 people lived here some 700 years ago. Uh, there are maybe 20 rooms still that you can either see the remains of or you can imagine where they were. Each of these small rooms was probably a family's apartment. Um, this is not fancy urban architecture. This was probably a small farming village of people that lived up here in the canyon. They lived here for several generations, probably about 100 years. And uh, then for reasons that are not fully explained, people left the area. <laughs> 